Hi, this is Brett Foster, treasurer for St. Paul's Church. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to log on to Realm, edit your profile, look at your news feed, view your giving history, and set up your pledge for next year. In your browser, go to onrealm.org. If you've been here before, you may get a logon screen that has the St. Paul's logo on it like this. If this is your first time here, you might not get that logo, but don't worry, it all goes to the same place. Just type in your email account and password and sign in. For demonstration purposes, we've created a fictitious account for a member named Jen. Jen's a new member, so her account is pretty empty. But as she signs up for ministry groups, her newsfeed will start to look more interesting. In the upper right corner, Jen can manage her account and update her profile, doing such things as adding her birthday and a photo. Hello, Jen. But the real reason that Jen is logged on this evening is because she is ready to set up her pledge for next year. To do that, she will navigate to the giving link in the left column. And this will bring her to her giving history. Now, Jen doesn't have much to see here, but if you have a giving history, you will see it, along with how much progress you're making towards various appeals and campaigns, both current, and if you have past or future pledges, you can select them here. Jen is gonna select Add Pledge from the top of the page. And for those of you who have used the paper pledge form, this is the online version. You tell it how much and at what frequency. So that'll be four times a year from the beginning of the year till the end of the year. Good. And then either Jen can either save her pledge and be done, or she can save it and proceed to setting up the e-giving details, which I'll take you through now. So as you can see on the next page, this is the e-giving form and it's carried over the amount, the fund that it's going to go towards, it's, it's carried over the fact that Jen wants to give multiple times per year, every three months, starting in January, ending at the end of next year. And we're gonna continue. And, <clears throat> excuse me, um, from here you can set up your recurring gift from either a credit or debit card or bank draft, bank account. Now, I personally prefer the bank draft method because it incurs a considerably smaller processing fee. And here, Jen will enter her details, routing number, account number, or credit or debit card, and click give or save. Now, this is a fictitious account, so I'm just going to close out. But if you're going through it, you'll hit save. Now back on the giving page under future campaigns or future pledges, Jen can see that her pledge for next year is ready to go. I hope you found this short tutorial helpful. And if you have any questions along the way, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Um, so from both Jen and myself, have a great day. And thank you for your contributions to the ministry and mission of St. Paul's Brookline.